Hello friends, this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining interview point. So this is the continuation part of the previous video. If you haven't watched my previous video, then please watch my previous video. I will provide you the link in the description of my previous video. Okay. Code that I have done into the previous video. So just I want to write the code into the pay now button. So this is the customer. So if I will select the customer, I want to show that cut customer id and customer mobile number here okay so now understand this is the ram i want to click on the select button so this selected customer will be so here okay so how to write the code for that right so this is the customer so first we need to create a object for the customer class customer obj customer is equal to new customers this is the object that i have created i just want to return this object here okay so this is the object that i have created so i just just showing you load function so this is the get customer i am getting on the load so this is the show dialog so what i am returning here when i will will close it i want to return this object so this complete object will be returned when i will click on the on the select button or so this is the select customer so the object that i have so this object that i have created this is the object obj customer so for that what i am passing here warning here the so first name first id and first name and mobile number three things i am returning here three things i want to bind into the bind here okay into this level so here customer id and mobile number and something address else what i right now i am not binding address here so now need to write some code here and if i will i this object will be returning here so i want to write some condition here if obj customer dot id greater than zero it means customer is has been selected else else in the else part what i want to write here so suppose i have a label first of all and this is the selected customer id variable obj customer dot id okay bar label lvl customer id see your cust id dot text i want this or just i can like dot to string okay i also can do like this so lvl cust name dot text is equal to obj customer dot sorry dot first name okay and also the lvl mobile dot text is equal to obj customer dot mobile number dot to string it is already a string so not mandatory dot to string okay now run it and see just click on the new button and select any customer so this is the ram that i have selected now you can see ram her his mobile number this is the id okay so i just want to write the code on the pay button so this is the pay button if button is enabled i want to pay okay so this is the pay button and before that uh okay let's do it first so this is the pay button so i forget one thing into the this button customer if it is not available then i want to do these things okay 
it's now right the code so find button pay dot click so i want to write the code here okay so the first condition i want to write here so if i have created one variable total amount total amount if greater than zero at that time i want to enable it also i want to go inside it so first of all i want to get sales list so i just want to call this function because the sales list i will i should get all the list and so that i can insert into the table so i will write the code for this later first do the same thing here okay so what i want to do here frm so this is the previous code i'm just going to copy and paste it so these things i did in the previous video in the video number nine so you can see this is the working with the receipt payment okay so if the payment if i will get true it means my payment is succeeded at that time i want to write the code so first of all so cost id is equal to zero and i want to check here sorry if if selected customer id will be greater than zero at that time what i want to do here i want to do the cost id is equal to uh, selected id okay so this is the and also what i want to do here i want to write the query for the insert value into the tbl invoice okay so string string suppose invoice query so what i want to do here so i want to insert some data here insert into tv table field so this is id id is the auto incrementer uh, item total discount tax price total amount customer user id and invoice state okay so these things i want so i have written this query here each success each success and dv access dv access dot execute query string variables i just going to pass it here so if it will return success and also what i want to do here get inserted inverse id so so this is function i want to get so this will get this function will get the inserted inverse id this is the currently inserted id so this is the function i ju i just want to write the code for this also so actually i have written the code for this don't want this uh, so i will get inserted invoice so this variable i have created here inserted invoice id okay so this is the code for that okay now write the remaining code for this pay button so this is the code okay now same thing for each write the code for this so suppose where item in sales list sales list actually i need to write the code for this so now i just want to write the code for this sales list okay guys for that this is the sales list that i have created so what i want to do i just want 
रो इन डी जी बी आइटम्स डॉट ओके सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू राइट द कोड सो सेल्स आई जस्ट सेल्स आई नीड टू क्रिएट ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर दिस आइटम इज कल न्यू आइटम सो दिस इज द ऑब्जेक्ट दैट आई हैव क्रिएटेड सो ओ वी जे आइटम डॉट आई डी इज कल टू सो वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू डू हियर I just want to do row of cells. Cell. So cells will be the ID. Okay. Dot value I want. So this value I want to convert into the integer. Convert dot two into thirty two. So like this. do for all the all the parameters now add this object into the list so sales sorry sales list dot add add this object obj item okay so now it is done so now do the continuation of this Okay, so get sales list. I have done it in here. So I just want to write this query here. Innovation detail query. Okay. For that, suppose insert. So what I want to do here? I want to insert that all the item detail into the uh, this table. Okay. So actually, this is. another table tbl detailed invoice okay so this query i want okay so insert in to in this table here so i am done with this query so i have written all the query here so i also want to update the item if suppose if i have i have sell i sold one item suppose this lg90 i am going to sold so right now i have four quantity so i also want to update this quantity will be the three okay guys where id is equal to item dot id dot id okay so i am done with this query So, and also i want to execute this query when i when i am done with this okay so for the at what i want to do here so boot success so it will return db access dot execute query so this is the query i want to execute here okay so what i want to so it will be done after that what i want to do here i just want to clear the sales list sales list will be the clear when it is or when all the code is done I also want to provide the message box dot show. So payment received successfully. Okay. And also want one will be the information. So this is the message I want. And and I have one more list item sales list dot. clear this list also i want to clear and also calculate so calculate will do the things to enable or disable so 
get max invoice id max invoice id so this will be the function that i want and also clear the selection this is the function that i have created for the clear selection so you can see this is the function so now i just want to show you so right now i can see here i have the last invoice here is the 11 i'm going to select one item so this is the item 2000 rupees 2000 okay i think i am getting some error here so something is the problem okay so i found the problem so this is the function that is giving me error so if i haven't selected that customer so it will this code will not execute it so i just uh, remove that select the item it is at 2000 rupees so now we can see the payment is received so now pay now button is yellow so we can see into the table it should be get here so we can see 2000 rupees is received so which item we sold i sold okay item that i sold it will be the item id is 4 so item id is 4 is item id 4 this lit is out i also can select so i want to change the quantity from here so when i will select change the quantity in this total should be changed okay so it is not going to change so i need to write the code for this also so for that i have created from function here okay so when i will change some value here so i'm just going to copy paste for saving our time so this is the code for this so i'm just going to run it so this is now i can also select the customer so select the cust selected I am going to select the Siam. Siam is selected here. I'm going to sell two items Samsung Guru Charger and Li T shirt. So Samsung Guru Charger and Li T shirt quantity I need to check. Just copy two data. So right now I have nine quantity and twenty quantity. Samsung Guru Music this is the mobile phone and this is the t-shirt okay so this is the Samsung Guru charger so actually this will be the charger so I have 20 quantity for charger okay so just going to sell this zero. So now check this quantity should be changed here 3, 9 and 20 so 8 and 19 so now my quantity you also change 8 and 19 okay this list here also i can see all the history here so this is the selected customer that i have selected here so this is the invoice so thank you guys for watching this video if you have any doubt any question please ask me okay so i will provide you the code of this video in the description we'll see you in the next video soon this is my facebook page please follow me on my facebook page i will provide you all the video or uh, link also in my facebook page this is my blog you will get all the interview questions and the programs logic here thank you guys